Hello everyone! Today I'm here in Spain, precisely in Ronda, more precisely in the Ascari circuit, because I've been officially invited by Metzler to test their brand new tire. I'm talking about the Sportec M9 RR. This is a road super sport tire, and what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna ride all those beautiful bikes in the roads around the circuit, and then we will come back to the circuit to test those tires both in wet and in dry. So during this video I will show you the amazing landscape, the amazing track and I will tell you all the most important new things about these tires and my sensations. Obviously I lost myself having breakfast, doing videos, flying the drone and they took all the bikes. The only one that is left is a Kawasaki. I've never ridden it, I'm curious to try it. So now it's getting late, let's get the helmet and let's start with the tour in the road. Kawasaki Z900, let's see how it is. By the way, look at how beautiful it is here. Okay, no electronic shifter, I don't like it. Let's do it the old way. Wow, guardate che bello! È bellissimo qua! Wow, look at that! It's so beautiful here! Coffee break! So now after the wonderful road trip, we came here in this playground and I'm not joking, it's really a playground because this is a private circuit built by a truly passionate who owns many supercars and even many Formula Ones and even some Formula Ones. And in this circuit you can either find passionate people having fun with their supercars or some product launch like the one we are doing today with Metzler. The track has been split in two parts, a bigger one for dry testing and a smaller one for wet testing. And before jumping on my favorite bike, which is the R1, I just want to show you the characteristic of these tires to understand what they improved and what's new about them. Metzler Sportec M9RR. RR stands for road racing and this allows you to understand what this tire is meant for. This is a road sport tire. And if you've been riding for many years, you probably heard of or you probably used the Metzler M7RR. So this is the evolution of the M7RR. And which criteria did Metzler use to, to develop this tire? They asked the users. So they did some surveys. And from this service, they saw that the 67% of the users use the bike also to go to work. So not just for having fun on Sunday, but also for Tuesday with the rain, with two degrees to go to work. And 40% of them use the motorbike in any weather condition. Dry, wet, fog, snow, anything. And last but not least, the most important thing that the users look for in one tire is the performance. So according to these data they developed this tire to satisfy the users so they improved the grip, the handling and the performance on wet. So let's talk about the grip. If you look at the tire you can see that the cuts do not get until the shoulder. I don't know if it's called the shoulder I hope. In Italian we say spalla which means shoulder but by, by the way this is the shoulder okay. <laughs> so this means that the last part of the tire when you're leaning it's actually slick and this is done to increase the contact patch of the tire with the asphalt. Moreover, it has a double compound, both in the rear and in the front. And what does double compound mean? It means that in the middle you have a harder compound to allow the tire to make more kilometers, while 
in the shoulder, you have a softer compound to allow more grip while leaning. And they tested on track in Pergusa, a Sicilian circuit in Italy, and this tire was 3.5 seconds faster than the M7, while in a smaller track like Bineto it was 2.5 seconds faster. And where it was faster? If you look at the telemetry, they had 2.5 more degrees in leaning and 4.5% of throttle more in the whole lap. So both in the lean and in the acceleration. Talking about the handling, what they did is that they increased the stiffness of the cords that make the carcass of the tire, but they reduced the number of the cords to leave more space to the rubber. This translates in more handling. If we talk about the wet conditions, what they did is they modified the chemical compound of the tire to allow it to have more grip on wet. And if you look at the data, in a 44 seconds long track, so very small, they improved by 1.8 seconds. So it's a huge step forward. And if you look at the telemetry, the improvement was in the lean angle, two degrees higher, and in the braking, which became shorter. So let's stop talking now. Let's wear the helmet and let's go try this bike on wet. And then we will push like crazy on the dry track. Okay guys, after a few laps I can say that these tires work pretty well on wet because as soon as you pass from dry to wet you, you don't feel the tire slipping you feel a lot of confidence both on the front and on the rear and especially, for example, here you can go down with the knee knee down guys, look at that and then when you come here for the braking it breaks pretty hard even on wet and after that as soon as you go back on dry the tire warms back up immediately and you can find again the grip see guys after a few corners back to normal grip so after the wet sessions now we came here on the dry track for three 20 minute sessions and in the first session i tried the bmw s1000 rr great in the second session I tried the KTM 790 and oh my god how fun it is! This bike is awesome! <laughs> it's like riding a big pit bike! Oh my god! I don't want to stop! But for the last session I came here to the love of my life, the Yamaha R1, to show you the track. So now come on board with me and see how beautiful this track is. Okay guys, we're ready to start one lap in this wonderful circuit. Last corner here, fourth gear, 180. Super fast corner, full throttle here from the straight. You keep right here, you break hard, non shift to second. And then you have the chicken, we have to cut it. Full throttle, the bike wheelies. And then you break hard for this very narrow left corner. You start to open the throttle progressively. Full gas here, third gear. You brake hard for this very fast left corner. You keep left here, change of direction. And now put the bike straight and full throttle. Third gear. You break your downshift for this right corner. And here you cut the track. This is a short version of the circuit, which is much longer. Double left. Put the bike straight. Full throttle. Third. Fourth. Fifth gear. Full throttle here. And then you break hard. In second. For this right corner. 
And look at that. Tripod chicken, left, right, left. A lot of banking here. You can enter pretty fast. And look at this. This is a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> Woohoo! Keep left here. And guys, look at the banking in this corner. You have so much grip here. Accelerate hard break on for this ne left corner in second. Change of direction, third gear. And this is the final part. Final corner. No gas here. You enter so fast. And this was this wonderful Ascari circuit. Woohoo! What a circuit! That was amazing, guys! Guys, I will never stop saying that it doesn't make sense to go on the road with a slick tire or with a super soft tire. Because look at what we can do with a straight tire on track. So imagine what you, what you can do in the road. So guys, once again, this proves that a tire like this one, like this Metzler, it's amazing for any kind of bike. For the super sport, for the super bike, for the naked, for anything. And the feeling that you have in the front, the grip that you have, the sensation that the tire gives you are truly amazing. So this wonderful day here in Ronda is over. It was truly awesome to ride in the circuit. And I was really impressed about these tires. The feeling was great, both on wet and dry. And they are available in many sizes and for many bikes, from the super sport bikes, to the naked, to the touring. Anyway, I have linked below the reference page where you can find everything you need to know about these tires. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think and see you in the next video. Bye bye.